Hi guys, and welcome back to Manor Lords. I'm Richard32, and we've got quite the mission on our hands today. I want to get us turning a profit, and we've got some big work for us to do. So this is the beginning of the year. It's the first day of the, of the year. We have 364 days to make 1,900 coins, let's call them. We're 6,108 in debt. We have just, we look here, We've just we've just just tried to pay our taxes, so we're right at the beginning of it. So we, now we're gonna it's gonna give us a good data. I have the game has been running a little bit. We are starting to get some taxes come in, so hopefully we should see. Uh, maybe maybe we can make some money. So like to, for this to hit that, what there's twelve months in the year, so we need to make over. We need to make about two hundred and fifty a month, up two hundred a month. We'll start making as a profit if we can consistently do that. Which means we need to make sure we're taxing our cities, right? At the moment, we've got a tax of 15% in Zway. We might do that across the board. So if we do the tax of 15%, there's some, we're going to have to do a lot of maths to try and figure out what we need to work out here. So 15% across the board, for that to be 200, you know, we're going to have to have a, a decent amount sat in each town with the three towns. So we're going to need about 40, 50 coins from each one. So we're going to need about 500 regional wealth roughly let's say i'm just estimating here in each each town so that's that's quite a um a challenge for us we need to balance our levels something i do want to do is get our towns upgraded was the way i went ahead and put bakeries in so we now got our own bakeries so that's going to be more efficient at making bread this may end up being our bread capital if we if we can make it more efficiently and just use it as a way to distribute and import other resources which which was the initial plan anyways that looks really good um we are running out of storage space that's the thing as well. Not much we can do about that. We need to also like food balancing is becoming a little bit of an issue, but we should get there at some stage. We've got apples coming in now from these orchids as well, which which should be pretty good for us. So that's pretty good over here. Now, good news over at Emirates. Uh, this place is finally happy. We've got ale coming in. We've got food in here. We've started to get a good little balance going on here. It's going to start making us some money. We're trading pretty much everything we can here. We've got some good trade routes set up, which are starting to come to fruition. And that is the war bows and the shields. These are making us good cash. So hopefully we can still keep that going on there. We can get the war bows thrown in nice and re nice as well. So we will be following all the shields. I'm probably I'm selling bows elsewhere as well, but this, this is coming good. Eventually, I think we'll probably start selling helmets and plate armor here, as this is where we are. We have our deep iron mine. I am concerned that this is going to run. Oh no, it's, okay, it was lower before. I guess it keeps refreshing itself every month. I was worried we we're going to run out of iron here, but we've got plenty of iron coming in and we just need to keep producing it. So we should see an yeah, iron slabs coming in nicely there. So that's good. Everything's starting to come across. Now the capital, I've start, we're starting to expand a little bit. This place is, we've got so much food here. It's awesome. All the vegetables, all the bread. That's good. We're shipping bread out of here. And eventually, we're going to be shipping ale out of here as well. That should be coming, starting to come in as well. We're going to get a few breweries up and running. That's the plan with this area, is we're going to make lots of beer here and just distribute that between our nations and hopefully make some money. So that's our, And we're upgrading buildings as well. You may notice a few of these have upgraded. I am going to be doing them as well, but we need to start making some cash over here. So that's that's the general theme in here. Maybe we'll get a little battle in or two. I mean, I'm not sure. See, look, bread for iron over there. We need to, we're going to need to get a few more trading situations up here oh, royal tax increased can't get more than 1900 i'm pleased to know so let's get a couple of these we're gonna get another four trading posts over here that's just gonna be our trading center we start we'll get them set up that's gonna help us this is gonna give us more people just to put in the right industries that we need instantly i'm gonna put in a oh, we need to upgrade you there you go cool we're gonna get another brewery and i don't mind these sitting at lower levels now as we can use them to just help supplement. They, they kind of work the industries. They don't cost us too much. They only need one food food type. The other guys need a bit more. So, like, well, I think I think we're going to be all right. So, I've got the game paused. Just want to have a look at how we've done for the year. Now, I think we're doing better than we have done before. It's quite hard to tell. So, we have currently, we've got, what, four days left to pay our, our, our tax. We're at 5,372. So, we've made, like, that's what? We haven't quite made a 1,000. That's, that's, I'm going to say that's just under 800, right? That's about... 800 so we, we, we've done okay we're making money we've definitely i think we, i am right in saying we have we have improved taxes are going up by about 100 every year as well it's something that we need to be mindful of 
we are i think yeah it's it's a question of once we get it balanced it's going to be just leaving the game to run it's a shame we don't get any like spoils of war or anything when we defeat the enemy getting some weapons and things that would be really good i'm we're, we're slightly increased at nunslow and emerith there's not, not a great deal sort of happened in between cuts we're just trying to we're trying to balance things min max in to make some money get ourselves winning you know winning the financial battle you can see that like, supplies are good we're exporting everything we can i need to set up trade routes if possible i'm hesitant to upgrade too many buildings to level two as that's gonna it's just it's it's put to more although we're getting like one regional wealth right that's what we get by upgrading it yeah it generates one regional wealth per turn they then want to eat two or three types of food so it's not really worth it unless you you try to upgrade your military is how i'm seeing it at the moment so we, we can bring peasants in because they can add food to the ch add more food than they eat to the supply so i don't mind doing that but we do have to invest a little bit into them we i am still we haven't as of yet maybe that's something we should do now still haven't got the next level on none so i want to see how that did but we've actually got the money now probably to upgrade a few of these we need seven more one we can get that set up now and then we can sort of balance that out and we can see how we do okay well then we've got four more i'll try and remember to do three more but oh no what, what am i missing oh planks okay it's not a big deal so yeah I, 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 that's what i'm going to focus on this year getting those additional buildings up and definitely we're definitely going to go for the additional meat that's 100 percent. although we don't have the best hunters here we'll double the meat We've only got like an animal of 20. I th I maybe there's something bug hunters, I don't know. It just doesn't seem to work that well for me. Maybe, maybe it's me. Could be up our area. That's, that's quite possible as well. Something else I, we need to pay attention here as we go into the next year. Is we need to see... I need, I need to see what, 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 what our tax collection is. We're at 7,364 at the start of the year. Ouch. <laughs> that's like... That's quite pricey, isn't it? So hopefully our goal is to make more than 800, I guess would be the way to do that the taxes haven't gone up yet king's favor we're getting negative with him so everything's going go, going down at the moment we've got 359 days well hopefully hopefully we do better this year if we can get up to like maybe 1000 or 1200 i'll be happy with that it looks like lord hinderbolt he wants to try and claim back a region this guy doesn't know what he's doing i mean sure let's let's go to war let's get our army together i mean we could probably wait a little bit but we haven't um okay before we do that take a look at our balance right we've got 37 days we're down to 6267 we were on 7364 at the start of the year so we've made over a grand already emerith Emin Ruth is 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 it is buzzing right now we're getting everything we need to done here we're making a good income we just we're currently not importing x to anything so i'm just trying to balance it well, I say we're not. We're importing the minimals of ever, anything we can do, which is, which is awesome. Um, so maybe I really would love to do like the last little push with our retinues completely set up. Right, where's their army? The army's here, of course it is. Um, okay, so I don't want what you. Just need to get our army together, and then we can get in with this battle. I, I'm I'm overly confident here, which doesn't bode well. Um, what we will do though, where is the bow? Oh, it's there. Oh, that's quite good. We might be able to bring the military from Sway here into um put you there. Because what I'm thinking is we can bring them in from the, if the battle's there. But we might be able to attack them from two fronts. Oh, that could be cool. Um, we're not gonna barter. Go away. I don't want anything. We want all your lands right. I'm going to get the military position. We're going to get some scraps. It appears we've accidentally engaged the enemy here. I'm not too worried about this, to be honest. I feel like our military is is big enough to deal with these. Um, let's get these chaps like there, and we want them firing at will. Hopefully, they're not going to come for us. I, th I think are they are they heading towards us? Or oh, they are. Okay. This could be a bit of a forest fight, but I think we've actually they're going to have to come to us. So we may still have the, the better ground here. We, yep, you should be getting those positions. We got our archers over, so we should be good. We've got our other military over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring them up. I feel like we fought here once before, didn't we? I'm going to pull them up to there and get them to sit, just because that is in the claim. We don't have to bring them in. Oh, no, the claim's here now. Okay, that's weird. So we will pull them up over here. Maybe we can just get this the, these brigands that are trying to flank us. 
They like to try flanks, try and get our arches. Are they actually coming towards us? They are slowly. Okay, that's good to know. We're kind of cresting on the hill. Well, these shouts put you right here for the moment. Let's split these guys up. Let's put you there. As they're trying to come in. And we've got these that we can just flank round on them. I think that's what we're going to do. I'm not overly concerned. Why aren't our guys firing? Oh, they are firing. Yeah, we've just got to keep an eye on these those guys there. Let's bring these here. Okay. We seem, they don't seem to want to engage. Which is interesting. Okay. Nope. I want you guys to be balanced. You guys... Oh, well, it's quite hard to find the trees, isn't it? Engage those. I don't engage them. Stay, stay here. Well, I have no idea what they're trying to do here. They just don't want to fight up. You guys come around there. Let's move these over here. Run. That's what they're waiting for, I think. They're engaged. You guys can now engage those. You can come here. They're trying to, trying to get through that gap. I'm not, I'm not having that. You can stay there. I, I, is it the fight coming? We've still got two units back here, haven't we? Let's pull you up over here and we can wrap you around behind. I see their arches there. I send one after one of the arches. And I want you to get involved. They're taking a beating there. Are we still able to keep firing? We are, that's good. If I can, let's get those arches uh, there. And where are you, you going over there? I want one of you. I want the other one to come in behind here. Okay. Who's broken? Us or them? Oh, we've broken them already. That's perfect. Okay, good. Where's our other military? Let's bring you guys in. And bring you, like, here. Or there, even. Oh, actually, we're pushing them towards them. That's good. Maybe they don't know we're there. That's what I'm thinking. We'll get this battle done with. Right, speed up a little bit. I think we should not be too worried. We seem to be doing okay here. We are taking some losses. Right, that's another unit broke. That's perfect. Okay. They're breaking now. Nice. Okay. Let's just slow that down. Oh, and we're engaging them. And that should be at one. No? Who else are we fighting, please? Victory. There we go. Awesome. Okay. That was nice and easy. That is, that is brilliant. We are like extremely. We, we are the best. That's all I'm going to say. We, we are not going to get defeated. You can keep coming to try and tack us down. How are we doing for the text? Yes, we've got 19 days left. Okay. Well, that's not fun. That's not far away. Let's just pump the speed while we do that. I, I want to see what the next where we are for the tax here. I think we may like we're getting close to being able to. Right, none slow with you there. Maruth. There. Yep. Yep. You over here. And you over there as well. Okay, good. Let's get these guys sent in and to live the dream over here. We look at Emma Ruth. Emma Ruth, it's got it's got loads of cash for us. It's making, it's, this is a, this is like paying our taxes for us, but we are getting a little bit low on food supplies. So I was kind of hoping we we're going to be able to send everything into this. It might just be because it was wartime and we're struggling a little bit. We may need to put a bread farm in here. I think that we, that's what I'm realizing. The the exchange of the resources isn't the best way to do it. Do it. Six days left. So we're doing okay. 6,100 so we've made like we're not quite paying enough of but we've we definitely we're at what 5,500 ish when the end of last year this year's coming through what have we got to do so well, I think we made a good good chunk in it we'll get some food coming in there as well that's nice we're in debt to the king yeah 8,214 okay well we know what we need to do Ah, this is painful, isn't it? So, <laughs> like, can we get this paid off is what I'm going to... I'm hoping so. We, we're doing better. Like, I think once we get... Emmeruth is already making money. The next town, we can get another town making money like Emmeruth. We're going to be living the dream. I think we've also got the food sorted as well now. Looking at that. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with leaving this town to run as is. Great. Just what we need is a nice little fire, isn't it? Not, might not be the best time. Hopefully, we've got the systems in place to stop this spreading. <laughs> I'm not very confident. I think we did put down quite a few wells. At least it's raining. There's a few people. I mean, I hope I hope we can contain this. Does it look like it? I don't think it does. Maybe. 
Oh, I mean, as long as only, if only one of them burns down, I'm okay with that. Okay, we'll put it out. Oh, panic over. I was worried then. We can just rebuild that. Oh, they're, they're doing it already. Perfect. Cool. I didn't actually go that bad. I thought it was, that was going to be terrible. That was going to be terrible? Terrible. Okay. Yeah, we're only in March. What, why are you still uh, jamming around? You should be part of, the, part of that. Things, things are okay. I think I found the problem with Emerith why we weren't, why, why the food wasn't getting here is our iron production isn't functioning, well, it isn't enough. So I've just placed on another bloomery, which could be good for that. At the mine pit, I've got max people on the iron pit now, so we should be churning out a reasonable amount of iron. Yeah, look, 36 iron in there. So now this should all come better. So what I want to do is while, we've, while we're back here is put some more houses down. We're doing good for houses. That is, that is definitely something we, we are good for. And we're going to get a load more. I'm just going to run this path all the way down here. Lovely. And then we can leave a little gap in there. I think we... I may go around and put, like, build a load of wells in all the other towns now. That's what that's just kind of said to me. I want to get a few more people in here. What I'm doing is I'm making them... They're going to chuck down eggs as that. Just gives us... Oh, I can't, I can't afford to build that. Okay. So let's go. We'll do it the other way then. We'll put you here. There. And then here. Boom. That's going to be a good chunk of people. They're all going to be eggs, which is going to help us. Um, I do have two people working on the corpse pit. We can put one person in there, actually. And then we'll just put you straight into our bloomery as I want to pump this bloomery and try and get the iron going in. The reason I'm saying that is we're using iron to trade for for alcohol and bread in this area, which is one of the breads we haven't got any. If we can get bread up, that gives us that's a third, fourth, third food type. It should come in handy. Something else we could get going up capital is honey as well maybe i should work on that it's that time of the year again we just paid our tax but it's actually um, um, this is a good place to be in we paid 2274 quite a lot isn't it Reg registered that was deducted from us but look we're at 8967 and so we managed to actually make pretty good ch like chunk last last year we almost made two grand the reason we haven't is because the farming wasn't quite balanced its way. What was happening was, if we come into our little fields, is we weren't producing, there was actually a whole year where we didn't produce any food in the farming area here, which then has a knock-on effect to everyone else in them not getting their food and things. So, how are we doing here? We're also trading animals, which we're almost at. This is going to be good. This is going to bring in a good profit for us as well, once they get to adulthood. So it's all going in the right direction. I think maybe one, two more in-game years, and we should be making we should be making some sort of profit. Like Nunslow's doing pretty good as well. We we've got a little bit of money saved, and I've just done some upgrades on some houses. We brought in a. I'm lost to as to where I am. This isn't the direction we usually look from. So just over here, we've now got a second apiary, which we'll probably look to. I can actually put two more people in it now, which will get that up and running. So that's going to be bringing in some honey, eggs. We we we're actually starting to hold some eggs over in here. Berries, we've got a bit of an issue with berries over here. We should be bringing them in soon. Yeah, we've got like a, we've got a rich berry deposit. So maybe I might actually get another foraging heart down over here. And this might be a good place to bring in some berries and start importing berries. I'll do that now with you guys. There we go, put you in there. But actually, let's put three in and we're really going to pump it. That hasn't cost us any money. No, we've got a couple of hunting camps. Now, a mistake that was made over in Emma Roof. I wasn't paying attention to our forestry. You can see we've cleared a massive area. We've now destroyed... We've almost destroyed our berries over here. Look, they're shrinking. So I, we, we kind of need to just leave them be and let the forest go back. So what I've done, we've got three foresters huts. I'm going to put one of them. You're going to be responsible for just bringing back... Our, our berries as, as I need them to come back and hopefully that's going to allow the area to regenerate. I'm not sure how that works so we'll be finding that out as we go. Uh, little things like that is what is going to hurt. I may even put down a couple more hunters because look we've still got 38 out of 40 beasts here so we, we probably can actually have I'm going to put down another three and then we've got room to grow on that and I could just start populating them as I did place some more houses down. Was that here? Yeah it was over here look. And we're getting a couple of goats going in now as well. I can... Oh, you should be chickens. We're, not that we need them anymore. Look, we're holding eggs. 333 and 337 eggs. So that's why I'm sneaking a couple of goats in here and there. As that just enables us to just get a bit more hide, which will feed into leather, which will be another, it's another export. Um, we've now got loads of iron sitting in there. We're exporting dyes now. I've actually 
Is it the forester's hut that does... No, it's not the forager, is it? It's the granary? Where do we... Is it... How do we get the herbs? I thought it was the forager. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know where that was coming from. But never mind. We'll figure it out. So yeah, that's just another year gone by. Maybe I'll do... I'm going to do two years now. I'll skip by two years to see where we're sitting. Well, 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 look at us here, eh? 5,400 in debt. I think the last time we spoke, we were over 10 grand in debt. Things have taken a turn for the better. Oh, I'm very happy with myself. I can tell you that much. I haven't changed a big deal. I've just min-maxed everything and made sure that we are overproducing on food. We just trade everything is kind of the way to make money. I think there's definitely some balancing in game in regards to the trade routes. You can't... I've found that if you look, if you have a dedicated trade route, it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to make the most amount of money for it. I mean, we're low on planks at the moment, Emirith. We have been for a while. I'm having to micromanage a wood to make a profit there, but the rest of the things... I, but none of this stuff, we're, we're exporting flax when we get that in, we do get it in occasionally. Importing meat's the only thing, but there's a shortage of that globally, so we can't do much about that. And then we're exporting everything else that we're producing in bulk. Which, which is perfect, that's how we're making money. I'm not importing anything yet. Well, yeah, just me. You, you saw that. Like, even firewood, we, we were going to... We're, we're exporting. I think we're going to export that at, like, 400. We're sitting nicely. We're not, like, we've got enough food. We're just kind of... It's just balanced. So it's, it's, come, out, it's come quite good. We've even got loads of ale sitting in here now. We don't even import that. And look, at we've got, what, 300 here. Wait, do you see our capital nuns lay? But something I have noticed is... With your forest... I've got to have... I seem to have three foresters' huts to my one logging camp with two people in it. And I'm, I have dedicated areas, and I just move it between them. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, I don't know. We can figure that out. Um, and then, look at Nunslow. Nunslow has got 3,000 regional wealth. It is loaded. The problem I was having with this area was my um, my trading post wasn't, wasn't running very efficiently. I just needed more people in it to get the more resources in there from then to sell it. Warbows, by the way, seems to be the best thing for me to sell in this in this playthrough. If the trader seems to come the most regular. So, that is what we're selling. It's going pretty good. Similar thing here, I've got additional areas. Oh, look at that, 2,400. See, look, 5,460 gold we made last month. Like, we're, we're going to pay this debt off in no time if it carries on like that. And it's sort of carrying all the other villages, so that's fine. We're up to, what, 7,800 debt? I'm not even worried about that in the slightest bit. We are looking pretty, pretty good as regards to money, which what I want to do... This is kind of my goal for the next episode for your guys. I want to get some retinue. I want to put re, re arm my retinue. So my goal is, I'm going to run this through, try and get us into well, get us, get us a decent profit if I can. Hopefully nothing changes too dramatically. I'm not going to any fighting I do. I just deal with it. We can we can. I, I want to get on with the the series now and 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 really go on the attack with the full army. It's way it's way has got a good amount of cash in it as well. So everything's going. Pretty good for us. I, all I need to do now is just kind of let it run and we'll make loads of money. So there you go, guys. We are now turning a profit. I mean, they're a little bit unhappy because they haven't got any booze, but that's coming. Just balancing our fields is what, what I've noticed. Something I've also noticed is you can do two crops to one fallow. I don't know if people know that, but that seems to be the best way to do it. That's one of the ways that I've really managed to like improve the production of things, and that's that seems to be working a treat for us. So guys, on that note, join us next time when we're going to be out in full force and we're going to be putting our wrath to, uh, what's his name, Lord Hinderbolt? Yeah, we're going to be taking these two territories. Should I try and do it one go? Or should we do them one at a time? You let me know in the comments, guys. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, all right, guys, take care. Ciao.